straight out of the car. What up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Straight Out of a Comic Book. It is back. If you are a fan of my YouTube channel, I have returned with Straight Out of a Comic Book, and I could not start off the return without my RK Token brethren. So we are the RK Tokens. I am the Anomaly Will Farrow. Bill Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Living. I am Patrick Cloud. Yes, had to do the classic intro. Shout out to Kadeem. I know he couldn't be here today. He's out being the tech guy that he is. So, um, as all thing comic book, I thought we should start off with the best topic right now. The thing everybody is buzzing: DC fandom. DC fandom recently just dropped their streaming launch, kind of Comic Con style, premiering everything that's dropping. And this is just week one, and they've already socked us in the face. Yep. They came hard, man. They rolled out everything. I, I think we all knew what we were going to get our first looks at. Uh, Black Adam, for sure. Um, the video games kind of been... There were rumors for yeah. some time. But when the Justice League... Or excuse me, not Justice League. The uh, Suicide Squad video league... I mean, um, uh, video game league happened. That's what I got nervous about the other game. Because we had heard that there was a sequel coming to the original Arkham Trilogy. And I was like, that's the sequel? No, it can't be. And then we got that one, though. We, we got did. that one. We did. What all did they roll out? So so we're going to get into that. But uh, they, they rolled out quite a few things as far as, like you said, the videos game, well, video games, movies, and then, of course, a couple of things from the TV shows. So they really let us know a lot of things as far as sequels, what's returning, what's new, and what to look for. But I think one of the biggest takeaways that came that we're going to start off with, which is, of course, the video games, which is Gotham Knights. They premiered the Gotham Knights trailer. As Cleo said, it is the next installment to the Arkham Trilogy. Um, spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't seen it, Batman is dead. That is how it starts off. Batman has been 86. He is not on the menu anymore, and it is up to his protégés, the Gotham Knights, Nightwing, Robin, Tim Drake's Robin, and we're going to get into that. Batgirl, Barbara Gordon, and of course, Red Hood is an official player in this story. Thoughts, yeah. guys? I want to hear y'all thoughts first. Excited, excited, excited uh, to have that fighting system back uh, that I fell in love with with the original Arkham games. I'm here for to have four playable characters. Even the gameplay footage that they put out there. I was, I was cool. Give us a trailer, but then you rolled out gameplay footage. The gameplay footage shows Barbara Gordon, aka Batwoman, a Batgirl, excuse me, uh, in Mr. Freeze's lair, and she got to take him on. And but just the sneaking aspect of everything. It looks amazing. It looks great. I'm excited. Uh, definitely mostly excited to play as Jason Todd, though. Okay. I'm excited to play as the, yeah, Jason Todd, I'm excited to play as. Okay. Uh, Pat, your thoughts on this? Um, <clears throat> this is interesting because anybody who follows the Arcade Token podcast knows that uh, this is 90% of the game that I wanted. You know what I mean? Like, we, <laughs> we were sort of building our own games, who deserved a spinoff. And I threw out there that I th thought it would be dope to have like an Arkham Knights that focused on Nightwing and Damien, the son of Batman. That was that was the only thing. So obviously when this came out, Will sent it to me right away. And I was just like in shock. I was just like, yo, this is this is exactly what we asked for, except they put Tim instead of uh, Damien. And I don't know how to feel about that. I would have much rather had the son of Batman, but I think he's gonna be in there somewhere. I still think he's gonna be in there. Now here, here's the thing that confuses me because if you've seen the trailer, Robin is on a, a tad bit of the young side. Would you agree? That's why I thought he was Damien. Right, and so that that's the thing that I'm kind of confused about because like, and again, this is this is from information taken off the internet that this is Tim Drake. But what made me think that it wasn't is that Tim Drake is in the Arkham series already and he's grown. Yes. So is this a, is this a spinoff or is this a continuation to the Arkham series? Well, I mean, it seems like comic books love going off the storyline and being like, what if this happened? It didn't, but what if this happened? You know, like, like so yeah. who knows? Maybe... Maybe the next game, Batman will be back. You know, like I don't, I don't necessarily know if they plan on 
continuing this without Batman. It might just be sort of like a one-off situation, but who knows? I mean, who knows? This might be Robin's first chance in the video game world to see how many people really mess with him because Robin has always been like, I don't know, it wasn't until recent years, Robin has kind of been like, you know, he, he hasn't really gotten the respect on his name, but yeah. And the, I would say in the last, past like five, 10 years, there's been a lot of Nightwing love, a lot of uh, love for Red Hood, a lot of love for uh, uh, Damien, at least, you know, as far as I've heard. But I don't know. I become a, I became a huge fan of Damien in the past year, so I really hope he's in that game. Yeah. Well, we also have DLCs as well. But uh, Cleo, I know you were about to uh, say something. Yeah, I'm I'm very curious on where they go from this, man, because the fact that the first thing you kind of immediately see is, hey, Bruce is dead. Batman is is off. It's done. They introduced the Court of the Owls toward the end of the trailer. Yes. Oh, I, I was... love that storyline. So excited to see this! But, so excited. I have I own one of the the Court of the Owls masks. It sits in my house, and I like immediately wanted to put it on to go watch the trailer again. <laughs> I want to know though, and this is just me throwing out a theory. There's no way they leave Bruce dead. There's no way. I, there's, no way. there's no way. Yeah, bro. Like, but but also too though, we are going. To, uh, if, if memory serves me correct, how did Arkham the Arkham Knight end? Wasn't he? Isn't he supposed to be dead? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'm still finishing. Okay, never mind. Then we won't do it. So I don't want to give away I'm still too playing. many spoilers. Yeah, yeah. So we don't want to give away years, but I'm still making my way through this game, and uh, I don't know what it was. I think it was the the too much Batmobile at first, uh, which is why I didn't <laughs> I didn't finish this as opposed to the other two. Uh, but it's it's grown on me, and I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to make it through. Well, but I'm hoping I you get used to that. Huh? You said what? So I'm hoping you get used to that because from what we saw in the trailer, it looks like vehicles are coming back. Like I saw. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying it grew on me. I'm, I'm down with okay. the Batmobile now. I just didn't know how to use it at first, and it was too much. Ah, I got you. But <laughs> if, if if I'm not uh, mistaken, I thought that when the Court of the Owls happened, that was during the uh, what is that? It's my, it's my little Batman toy. Is it a Barbie? Why is the why is it so loose? Why? Oh no, the articula- sharp teeth. Oh, it's a custom one. The articulation down to my toy is ridiculous. It has the Batman oh, logo on the boots. Uh, as you see, his batarangs are actually look like this. You made him um, a hood And one. the fact that he has that very creepy signature, Cleo smile. So this is and his the, eyes light up. So this is the Urban Outfitters Batman. Big facts. Okay. This is my Batman figure. That it's- I love it though. I love. Thank it. you, bro. Bro, the fact that even down to his little socks. Have the Batman logos on them. I'm Batman. like, yo, this thing is legit. So the I question is, though, when are you dressing up like this for Halloween? That's that's uh, not this Halloween. Next Halloween. Next <laughs> Halloween. This Halloween we're doing Powerline, but next Halloween I'm in. Um, how, the Court of the Owls storyline ended with but I uh, that the Bruce, the Bruce storyline, the Damien storyline. That I see, and that's the thing. So I also lo- looked at the research from what I'm saying. Now, of course, we know Wikipedia isn't always true, but what they are acknowledging that uh, Robin is Tim Drake, um, and just like like how we gave the information because of the stick. So this isn't Damien as Robin. So, but I thought that the Court of the Owls happened when we were following uh, the Damien storyline. Well, no, they had already been established already. So the Court of Owls have already existed. We were just picking up on one of those because I believe in memory serve in the Court of Owls involved in Crisis on Infinite Earths. Mm, could be. Not that I remember off the top of my head. I, I'm not. Not that I remember off the top of my head, but I think the Court of Owls have been there for quite some time if you uh, uh fans if y'all can let us know just to clear some of that up let us know but um uh, bruce I, is coming back in the game yeah bruce is back i don't think bruce is dead like it, it's it's not gonna happen but uh, here, we're, but we're terrible fans though will they give us something new here we are a day later man bruce ain't dead bruce coming back man just enjoy the guy I think he's I know. Dead. they're gonna give they're gonna give robin a shot because I love when they do this because Iron Man was not that popular before he got, you know, his movie. He was not like a top tier uh, mm-hmm. superhero. And then it was, ri- so you know, we've been, we talked about this a couple of times. It was risky for the Marvel universe to start off with Iron Man and then he became crazy popular. So I feel like this isn't a movie, but it is definitely like a direct you know, like a way to see like, all right, how many how many Robin fans are there? And I think, I don't know, I think he's gonna be dead at least just for this game, maybe not a series, but yeah. I think we're gonna be surprised by how many people love Robin. 
I mean, I think all of them. I have a theory. Yeah, what's your theory? If they do what Pat says where he's dead throughout the game. You beat the game, everyone's at, uh, you know, the the grave of Bruce on the Gotham, wherever the hell they're going to bury him. And then we see a, a, a post credit scene of Talia al Ghul bringing Bruce's body to the uh, Lazarus pit, dropping him in, and that's, it just cuts off from there. So we know he comes back from that. Can I, can, I got, can, I give, can I give one more like that? Yes. Still what you just said, at the grave, honoring Bruce. All of a sudden, a batarang hits the, hits the tombstone and cracks. Okay. But it's a Robin batarang. And then you look up and you see someone on the pillars with the gargoyles is Batman and Damien. And they just, oh. and it goes off. How I'll you going to tell that story? guys one better. Go for it. They all go to the grave, all right? <laughs> no battering. You see a damn capsule come through. Boom, it's a spaceship, Bulma, Trunks, and okay. Goku are on there. They're like, let's go collect the Dragon Balls and bring Bruce Bruce back. They all get in the ship, shoot off. You see the little ding, the anime ding. Boom, crossover with Dragon Ball Z. We're bringing him back and, and just with the Dragon Balls. How about that? How about Super Saiyan Batman? How about that? Bat Ball, Bat Ball Z. Well, if, we, <laughs> if, we, if we go in there, then all of a sudden, you know, all of the quarter aisles start fighting. We can't forget a crack of thunder hits and then bust in All Might. All Might just come knocking motherfuckers out. Him and Deku are like, yo, we here to help you get Batman back to fix the whole universe. Bruh. And Bruh. then the WB symbol comes out of nowhere. It opens. Animaniacs and Mighty Ducks. Now we got Mighty Ducks versus the Court of Owls. That's bird on bird action. And then we got Animaniacs squabbling with Robin. <laughs> but see, but see, now, just because of that, Robin and Batman going to need some help. So cue in Dexter's lab. He going to partner with Mandark. They finna bring get em. together. Matter of fact, they even finna bring they folks. What it was, Crunk, the dude with the guitar and stuff mm. like that. And uh, Major Justice, now we yeah. got a whole battle on our hands now. I'm in. This yeah. game is going to be epic. I'm in for it, bro. Gotham Knights is something that uh, I didn't know I, I really wanted. When we used to just talk about it, I was like, ah, I think I'm good off the Arkham world of video games. But nah, after seeing that trailer, I'm yeah. fully in. No couch co-op. They did say it's no couch co-op, but you will be able to uh, oh. join battles online and beat the game with your collective team. So we'll see what happens. I think they'll change that. There's too many persons. With couch co-op, do they not want us to be friends? Like, I think they want us to just have our own consoles and buy more video games, bro. Think about it. Just yeah. buy the game. Buy the game more. It we used more to be sales. like one person in the group had the game. Everybody had the game. Yep. There you That's go. why they stopped that. So they knew what was up. But um, keeping uh, keeping to go with the video games, uh, DC also rolled out, of course, the Suicide Squad video game, Kill the Justice League. Now, um, Cleo, you had mentioned earlier that you were a little bit held back about this because you had mentioned that they were doing a new installment to the trilogy, and this was the first thing you saw. Yeah. And so you were kind of taken back about it. Now, uh, Pat, I know you don't uh, know much about uh, what's going on with the Suicide Game. Yeah, I know you're not a fan. Uh, but it seems promising. Cleo, I want to get your thoughts on it. What do you think about uh, I, I take it you've seen the trailer for the game, correct? Yeah, seen the trailer, which is really more of a cutscene more than anything. It's definitely a very extended scene. There's no gameplay. Um, it gives you kind of the immediate story that you're getting. The Suicide Squad has to go take out what they believe is Superman at first until he burns a guy completely into ashes. And then they realize, holy shit, that's not Superman. And so I don't, we, I don't know if we have confirmation if it's Bizarro, if it's the Eradicator. I'm not sure exactly what Superman version that is that they have to look at, that they have to take out. But Waller's screaming in their ear about it. Um, my thing is this, here's what I'm starting to realize about these type of games. We recently had the uh, Avengers video game getting ready to come out for the Marvel one. And then we just saw the, we just talked about Gotham Knights. That's four people. And now here we go again with this one where it's four characters. So I'm curious, are these video games starting to take that turn where they're like that other Marvel video game that's for the Nintendo Switch, 
where it's like the overhead view and you all four of you just play your own character and kind of is it the new beat em up style of video I game? Hope not. I no, I don't know. Yeah, because we didn't get any gameplay footage for this, but it highlighted uh, Captain Boomerang, Harley Quinn, King Shark, and Deadshot so much that I'm assuming, is it just going to be an open field where you could just see all four characters and this is our new versions of beat em ups? I like how the new Avengers is set up. It's kind of like, it's not the overhead one. It's the it's the third person. And you can like, you know, you could, you could do your thing like that. I hope it's more that style. That's what it looked like to me, just based off of some of the um, moves that they were doing. Like, it looked like for instance, Captain Boomerang seems to kind of have like super speed now when he throws his boomerang too. So I don't think that would be something from an overhead viewer, like a first person shooter that you would get with everything else. So I think like how Pat said, it'll kind of be like Marvel's third person <laughs> shooting type of game. Um, I'm not particularly excited about the game. Like, um, again, I, I equate Suicide Squad as the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, two two well-respected groups within the comic book world, but in Maine, you don't really know all of these people. You don't really know a lot about them. But, man, not a fan. Never saw the movie. See, so like I'm hoping that, though, with this game, I hope that it does somehow become a success because I, just this is just me personally, I want a Guardians of the Galaxy video game. I want to play as Star Lord. I want to play as Nebula. I want to play as all of them. So I'm hoping this is successful. So then that may give them a chance to do it. And the only reason why I bring it up is because there's one thing that ties both of them all together, which I still kind of think is a bit of a conundrum, which brings us into continuing on with the DC fandom. The Suicide Squad movie is directed by James Gunn, who is director of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yep. Interesting. Yep. Yeah. And um, so what James Gunn has mentioned is that this is um this is kind of a remake slash not a remake. They're taking a few characters from the old one and bringing it into an entirely completely new style. So if you didn't see the first one like Pat, you don't have to worry about it. You just have to it. know maybe three people, which is Amanda Waller. Uh, Harley Quinn, oh, excuse me, four, Captain Boomerang, and then Rick Flagg. That's okay. about it, but you don't need the uh, previous one to know what's going on now. But he said, think of a 70s action film mixed with up to date now and just crazy ass explosions. And I'm in because the roster is ridiculous. Deep. Oh. Deep roster of lists. I'm not sure if they're going cameo heavy with this, where everyone's only going to be seen on the camera for what a max five minutes. Because it the thing about like Suicide that. Squad is everyone's interchangeable. Yes, yeah. the thing. Amanda Waller has millions of of villains that she's put these chips in that she can use to her leverage to be like, "Yo, I need this this mission done." So yeah. they could just keep swapping them out. But I'm very curious on where we go with the second Suicide. The Suicide Squad is what this one is actually called. Uh, John Cena's character did it, did an interview and think he said it's a more douche version of Captain America. Yeah. So I'm excited to see because I know John Cena could play the heel and face pretty well. Like that's what he did for his whole life. So I'm really curious to see him bring that character to life. Um, we got a new look on Holly Quinn. She looks more like her recent video game iteration in Injustice 2. Yeah. I like that. Uh, Idris Elba's character is called Blood. Shot blood. Something. No, not shot. It's it, it's it's something random, but it ain't dead shot. We, we yeah, it's not dead shot. Which great that puts that to rest because everyone, as soon as he got casted, everyone was like, "Oh, he's taking Will Smith's place." I'm just like, they wouldn't do that. Yeah, they yeah. wouldn't do that. Yeah, but I'm and I'm glad they didn't. So and I'm glad that it does distinguish that it's kind of a reboot, but it's not by him doing that. And just like yeah. you said, so you have that. Um, Pat, you're a big Walking Dead fan. What was Daryl's older brother? What was his name? Uh, Meryl. He too is in the Suicide Squad. Okay. Yeah. What's uh What's the actor's name? Is that a? Uh... I always forget his name. It's That's not Woody Harrelson, Harrelson, but he looks like no. him. No, it's not Woody Harrelson, but I can never remember his name. Uh, Peter Davidson from Saturday Night Live is also in this. Yeah. Um, Earl Dixon. Harold Dix, yeah, that's his name. Right. Um, it's it's just it's a it's a, a whole star-studded cast of people. Like he said, I, like uh, Cleo said, I think cameos are gonna be crazy. I, I think the best way for them to do this, and probably what they might do, is keep them all in like groups, 
So kind of like break them up to where like if you want to see them, it's this particular group within the Suicide Squad with that set of characters. Because like Cleo said, I don't know how you're going to get all of them in one shot throughout this movie. So um, are we looking forward to seeing it though? I'll check it out. I, I had no interest in the first one. I, I didn't like the style. The Joker is redone so many times that I'm I'm only in for a few versions of him. There's a lot of Jokers that I, even though I love the character, like versions of the Joker that I just don't like. And I mean, the Suicide Squad, I've just, I've never been a fan of the characters. I think it's a bunch of side salads trying to be an entree. I don't like any of them individually. Croc is dope when he fights Batman. Harley Quinn was dope alongside, you know, certain Jokers. Like, I just, I just, I don't, I don't really like the characters like that. So hopefully it'll, it'll pull me in because I'm not, in, I'm not looking forward to the video game at all. <laughs> my question, my question regarding that is, is if we don't like that many iterations of the Joker, up this upcoming year we're gonna have Ben Affleck's Batman, Robert Pattinson's Batman, which I'm not, a fan and of. Michael Keaton's Batman back uh, on screen. Is that what we're getting into next? I, I was trying to save that for last, but. Oh, uh, we might as well get into it, man. Like like Cleo just said, we got three Batmans. Three. three symbols are hitting us next year. Like he said, you got Michael Keaton returning in Flashpoint. Uh, as you can see in back, this was the concept art that was given to us um, at DC Fandom. So we didn't get a trailer or anything, but mm -hmm. one of them, this all Flash is also getting a new suit, as you can see um, here in the concept art. But yeah. Michael Keaton is going to be in this one. And also confirm that Ben Affleck will be donning the suit again. And Matt Fleck. Man for Flashpoint. And we also have, uh, I always keep calling him from Twilight and I shouldn't call him that. Pat Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson. Why would you call him Pat Patterson for some reason? Robert Pattinson. He's right. Robert Patterson is also donning Batman. We're going to get into that in just a little bit. But... I want to get into Flashpoint. Now, yeah. um, on our upcoming RK Tokens podcast, we were talking about which Marvel and DC characters we would be. Um, Pat, you picked the Flash. So just with you being a Flash fan, how are you feeling about the first, this live action Flashpoint coming out? And so the things that you know currently. It's going to be lit. That is by far my favorite DC movie. I think that it's, it's so dope to like, take apart the the classic Batman backstory that we've known and loved and put such a wild twist on it like Bruce dies his dad becomes Batman the mom becomes a uh, Joker um, Batman uses guns he kills it's like if, if you were from Flash's point of view that's so dope to just be like oh like you, it's almost like Rick and Morty you know what I mean you step in like different variations of the the same thing and you're just like what is going on in here I, 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 I'm, I'm really excited. That's funny though, cause that Batman old AF. But, yes. <laughs> but it's so cool to see, man. And right. the flash, it's crazy that it took this long because I was just looking up last night. Justice League, the original film came out in 2017. So it took them this, you know, not after everyone's response to everything that DC put out or Warner Brothers put out, no one was really happy in a sense with the product that we got. Right. But now with DC Phantom, we're all really excited again for them to get another chance. And with the Flash movie, it's been delayed several times. It's went through so many different writers, so many di different directors. Paradox? Huh? Paradox or just a Flash movie? A, a Flash, Flash movie. Flash. A Flash movie. But now I believe it's confirmed that we are getting a Flashpoint Paradox as the Flash's solo film. So I'm excited for that after all these years, but this is what we're finally going to get, man. And uh, I look forward to Ezra Miller as the Flash. I think it's a great casting choice. I, I didn't initially get it and then when i actually watched it, I was like okay i get it i know why he's the flash yeah. it's cool but that's not the one from the wb right that no, is not. no no that's that uh, grant austin but um funny enough though they do cross paths in the crisis on infinite earth's television uh series uh is uh ezra does make an appearance on the show as his flash are they different versions of flash that we're talking about right now yeah yeah they're from multiple earths so okay, yeah. um that's one thing i think dc is gonna really need to continue to do is really hone in on your multiple universes. Yes, so, um, bring they, them all. Yeah, they had a lot. They had that a lot better than Marvel. That's the one thing I'll give them over Marvel. They really established a multiverse way better than Marvel did. And if they hone in on that, they'll be good to go. 
So, so you want to see, so you want to see the actors who play the Titans have a cameo in an on film uh, version of the Justice League, the new Justice League film. You want to see that? No. No, with Lil Yachty. Actually, actually, you know what? Yes. If you do, if you did Crisis on Infinite Earths, the live action film. Okay. It, loop in everybody like that was the only thing that i hated marvel didn't do on uh in game if you would have brought in your television characters too like luke cage daredevil uh agents of shield i didn't even took iron fist i would i'd have been okay if you didn't bring him in but if you would have had everybody that would have just capped you off it's like yo we are marvel gotcha so hopefully dc will do it um, but continuing within this realm of the DC with the Flash and stuff like that, um, I know people are a little bit tired of it. Cleo, you kind of roll your eyes about it every now and again, but they've released the Snyder Cuts. Um, here's my first thing. Don't think that's Dark Side. Just gonna throw that out there. You don't? Who else would it be? Dark Side. I think that might be a minion. I don't know why. I could be utterly wrong as as most of the time, but no. But look at his face mask. I know something. No, just and, and the receding hairline. There's, there's parts of me that kind of hope that's not only because like it, it's like the design I know is dark side. Right. He just he doesn't look scary enough. This is like dark side before the come up. Like before we yeah. like this is when he was it's just like dark side. Huh? <laughs> this is mixtape Dark Side. Yeah, that's what this is. Like with, with Dark Side, with nobody feeling them and stuff. He had his red on passing if it, it out. If it is, if it is, so be it. But if it's not, if y'all could do just a little bit more detail changing, I'll be down for it. I don't know what it is. Just a little bit more. Right. And I got to say too, though, um, on this, I will give them a little leniency because we did it with Marvel, and here's why: it took a while to get Thanos right. Like if you go throughout the cinematic universe, Thanos has changed a lot. First it was modeled after a black dude. Then it was this one with kind of like the wider face with the square face. Then they cast Josh Brolin's face. To Nate do. nailed it. That's how we got Thanos. So I'd be okay because like this is really our first rendition of seeing dark side. So if they keep kind of changing them up, I'll be okay. So I'm not giving them a lot of slack, but- the big thing that I'm kind of like that has really got me questioning, they showed the Snyder Cut. They've showed us a lot of new things that they've added to it. Um, it's going to be on HBO Max, and it's going to be episodic. So it's going to be six episodes, or four? Four, four one-hour episodes. I thought it was six. Let me double check. Hold on. I count out. But as he does that, it just brings up my question of, what was Zack Snyder's exact plan for this movie? Because were you really going to be knocking at four hours on this? I think so, bro. <laughs> I think you this wanted to do that. This is supposed to be the original movie, Pat. Like, this is supposed to be what he was going to bring out. And this thing is sitting at four hours. Yep. That's a lot. I mean, if anybody, if anything can keep people's attention, it's superheroes. Like Endgame could have been longer if it wanted to be, yeah. but it, uh, for the most part, like you can't be, do just split it in half. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Well, just give that, us two. that was the original thing though. Uh, Infinity War and Endgame was gonna be one movie. And then they decided to split it up. I think that's, that's a good idea because yeah. would we sit there for, and, and see the whole thing? Absolutely, but it's like, don't we'll pay twice. It's fine. Right. Just yeah. I want to be out in two hours. Yeah. <laughs> Rewatch wise, I can't dedicate four hours. Like, yeah. I don't always get to two. Like, so. so we're gonna see some never before seen uh, footage. I think coming up soon from more more BTS things, probably from coming right from Zack Snyder's Instagram or social media accounts. Which I love the fact that he gives the fans that. Yeah. I mean, be, I think it's because of the fans that we're having this. This has proven the power of social media once again. Bro, that hashtag release to Snyder Cut was in rotation for almost two years. And I, in my head, I was like, there's no way they're going to let that happen. There's no way they're going to allow social media to dictate, uh, you know, Zack Snyder coming back to the project, Ben Affleck returning as well. Like, there's no way. And sure enough, it happened. So we got four one hour episodes releasing on HBO Max. Uh, that's how they're going to break this all down, bro. So they'll get a chance to fight Darkseid. Uh, we'll probably see some. Oh, we will see black suit Superman. Yeah. Finally, I'm good with that. 
So, um, yeah, I'm in for the, the Justice League Snyder Cut release. I'm here for it, bro. You also I'm get in. to see um, a little bit more of Aquaman while he's a uh, little bit hesitant to take the throne. Like, like pre before he goes, does everything Aquaman-wise. Uh, I think we're going to get to see what actually happens to Cyborg and how everything goes down. Please. Did not know his uh, father died. Uh, did not know that. But they are also- you gotta see if you watch it. Yeah, we didn't see that in the original at all. Yeah, you're right. No, but apparently he, he does not make it. Um, and then we also see a uh, Steppenwolf a little bit differently as well. So this is also another thing of my theory why I also believe that ain't Doomsday. Because here's my thing: we always dark know side. That, dark side. Uh, dark side. I'm sorry. Uh, dark side. Because I've seen another image that was out previously before this release. So I'm gonna try to pull that up. So if you can see, it doesn't look the same. His figure don't look the same. His face don't look the same. You don't see this part right here as far as the helmet go. I wish I could zoom in a little bit more, but it was kind of like, because this was taken from Zack uh, Snyder's Instagram. Isn't that the same weapon though? It is the same weapon. So I think they may still be digitally altering him and trying to figure out how people are taking to it. It looks like he has human skin in this one. It's weird. Yeah. That's why I'm like, I think they may still be working on Dark Side until it is finally time to release him. So, does it also- I'm okay with this build though, Will. If I'm being honest, a live action uh, Dark Side, I'm this build, because it's just the, the waist up, yeah. it, for some odd reason, it's not doing it for me. Maybe it's the face, maybe it's the helmet gauntlet thing, I don't know. But if you go back to that other image and seeing Dark Side's built like that, I like I'm okay with that, because I know he's gonna stand at least like 7'4". He's gonna be looking down at Superman and Batman. So like, I'm cool with the more Giannis Antetokounmpo build on Dark Side. I'm good with this. I am too. I feel like this one is gonna fight. Like when you yeah. see Dark Side in comments, it'd be like, how you fight? I don't like, you are massive. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't get it. Like, but this one, this looks like, yo, you give hands and I don't want no part of it. Yeah. So yeah, so I, I'm, I'm excited. Pat, what about you? As far as the Snyder cuts go, you in? I'm in. I'm 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 into it. I always like uh, when stuff like this happens. Like when when social media can bully Hollywood into something. I I, I love it. Uh, you know we we've seen it with. Didn't that happen with Deadpool? Yes, that's what happened with Deadpool. Put it on the shelf. Uh, they released test footage, and the fans literally threatened Fox with, "We will boycott everything if you don't put Deadpool out." Call hey, Ryan Sonic Rump. the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. It happened. Like if yeah. if, if anything like. You, you see where the, the pattern is, where like the, these loyal fans are. It's very comic book, very video game-esque. It's like, we aren't, we aren't gonna watch it if that's what you have. So, and Hollywood is like, okay. Try again. <laughs> Try again. Okay. 2022, we'll get but it. But it's never been, there's never been a period in time where you could be still making the product and your consumers that are gonna get it will be like, wait, 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 wait. Don't release that or we won't get it. Like. That, like that's the best test group that you can have you know before now people were getting like random little polls and stuff like that and then when you drop you drop but like we're in an amazing time where you can it's literally you could talk directly to the consumers and if they can tell you before you drop that they ain't messing with it you got to go back to the board <laughs> i think that's a good thing though too because of cgi i think cgi too is also a part of that formula that allows that to work because just think about it from an acting standpoint. Like, remember when you had to cause real action scenes? Like, best example I can give you, Bad Boys 2, when they blew up that mansion, that was real. They really bought a mansion out and blew it up. With with RPGs? No, 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 like with, uh, like they planted like sticks of dynamite, like sticks of charcoal. Oh, you mean the final blowing up? Yeah, yeah, like they really, like it wasn't CGI or anything, like they really blew it up and all the cameras made sure. Is that Michael Bay? Yeah, that's Michael Bay. Oh, uh, but imagine if we're like, yo, we ain't digging that. I need y'all to go back because, like, why would this house be here in Cuba like that? And it's hilarious if that's what we complained about. Right, but it's like, we won't see <laughs> if it don't happen. And it's like, yo, I can't go back and recreate blowing up that same house. But on here, it's like, 
yo, all yeah. of this is green screen. We can swap everything out. We just gotta get yeah, back. I was like, it. hell yeah. I think of like, yo, reshoots are a thing, bro. You can shut down a whole production. You're wrapped up, you're good. All right, next project, I'm gonna take a break for like two weeks and get ready for this next project. And then you get that phone call. Hey, uh, it's in your contract that we, we do have you for reshoots and That's we do crazy. need to go back and reshoot this, this and that. That's what yeah. happened with, with Superman with Justice League. When he showed up, the first image we see in Justice League is freaking Superman. And we could tell that something is green screening his lip. He was on set shooting Mission Impossible. That's why. <laughs> he couldn't cut oh, it off. Yeah, he couldn't cut the mustache off. It was to cost, what, $3 million to CGI oh my out his mustache? It was such yeah, a it was like, he, couldn't, he couldn't shave it because he was filming Mission he was shooting Impossible. shooting that. Yeah. He, and he grew that out. Like, that wasn't like prosthetic. Mm -hmm. Like, he had really. I gotta, go back and, I gotta go back and see that. That's hilarious. Oh. Yeah, you gonna uh, like that. You gonna last so hard. Yeah, it's Mission Impossible Fallout. Uh, yeah, the one that just dropped. Yeah. It's on Hulu, so you can go watch hey, it. Imagine that was your green screen credit on the Justice League. Like, oh, did you do the suits? Did you do the explosions? I did the uh, the hiding of the mustache. <laughs> uh, it took six months. <laughs> hey, okay, though. The worst job ever. <laughs> Y'all, yeah. For an animator that know how it work, I'd give him Bruh. a screen ovation, sir. Because if you can make, uh, remember, you move your, you use your mouth a lot. Catching all of this, but not only that, removing every follicle so it don't look like nothing's there. But we so knew cool. something was there, Will. We knew. I mean, I mean but what? That's like and that was top money that did that, and we still knew. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, you know, you it, it's all it's gonna get it, and it's not. You know, sometimes yeah. it's easier. Okay. To, Get a dread wig, then go. We're gonna CGI put locks on you and make them look like mines and pats. Right. No, you're not. But we will tr attempt to believe that's what you're trying to do. But yeah. uh, <laughs> we're gonna go again. Go ahead and get into the last and final thing. I wanted to save the best for last because uh, this is always a big debate, and I just really just I think we need to address this. Why do we need Batman so much? <sighs> because he sells a lot of merch, because he sells tons of comics, because he has the best rogues gallery, because no matter what, Batman is Batman. And and that's what I'm starting to see. When we like it, we like it. Because my like just how we, we had mentioned before we started was, I, when Ben Affleck was done, I was like, I don't need another Batman. Like, let's give Batman a break. Sort of like how I think the United States president should be. Let's give it a break. Let's, let's <laughs> not have it for a while. But then I they were like, no, sir. We're coming out with another one, and it's the guy from Twilight, uh, Pat Patterson. I know I said it wrong, but I can't Robert remember. Robert Pattinson. I want to say Matt Pattinson. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The shining nigga from Twilight is Batman, and he is God. nothing to play around with. Um, oh. I take back everything I said um, about Ben Affleck being number one. His stuff is in jeopardy and also proving that short dudes can kick ass. Christian why why Robert Pattinson is number one already for you? You haven't even seen nothing. Because you saw the trailer. You uh, He didn't do, Ben Affleck didn't do that. I <laughs> got, first of all, Gotham looks horrible. That look, It finally looks like a place I don't want to live. Like the scene, the aesthetic, yeah, like Arkham, like Batman, Dark Knight Rises, I was like, okay, we know what, where they pieced everything together, but it still looked good. It was like, I, I'm living Gotham, I'd be all right. But this one looked like despair. It looked like don't nothing good happen. Like when you see the news, there is no uh, go to the puppy drive this year, like none of that, <laughs> none of that in this guy. I don't know. I, I think that they're gonna finally take it there violence wise between yep. between the video games really amping up the combat system, even the memes online. You know what I mean? Batman has become a hilarious meme over the last few years about how badly he beats up random <laughs> thugs and then he asks them questions and they're like half dead on the floor. Like they're really taking it away from the whole like pow, punch, bap, and really making it like hands and I, I appreciate that I appreciate the set design but I am still not convinced without the without the mask trash I've never seen Bruce Wayne with hair like that it's so weird when I first saw him with the smudge I thought it was either Nightwing or like a Joker type character because the hair it just it never really I've never seen Bruce hair Bruce Wayne's hair like that 
But then, I don't know, even his look when he's Batman, it's just not like, you kind of have to have a look with the mask on too. And I'm, I haven't seen anything yet. So between Twilight and everything that I've seen so far, I'm just, I'm not, I'm watching it, but I'm not a hundred percent convinced the look is there. Matt Reeves has revealed that this isn't a year one Batman story. This is year two. So that's what I'm more excited about because I thought we were getting another origin story. So I'm like, okay, great. No. This is year two Batman. The city's well aware of who he is. The GCPD is well aware of who he is. He works with them in some sense. I'm cool with that. So this is still young Batman we're getting in this. And you know, I'm, I wanna see how it can develop over time. We don't know if this is a standalone, if they are building for a sequel, if they are building for crossovers, we don't know. Because the Joker film uh, with Joaquin Phoenix was its own standalone. It had nothing to do with anything else. We're not getting Joaquin Phoenix back on camera unless they throw an entire trillion dollars at that man. He's not coming back. Uh, that's the type of actor he is. He's not, do like, he is an actor by thespian standards. I did this role, I went through the transformation for it. I'm done, I got my Oscar, I'm out. Yeah. With this, we don't know what we're getting. And I'm excited for Robert Pattinson because if anything, for me, it, it shifts the, it shifts the narrative of what a superhero is supposed to be built and look like. Robert Pattinson isn't your traditionally built big dude. Yeah, he stands about 6'2", six, 6'1", six, maybe, but he's not ultra-yoked at all. So to have him play Batman, that's strictly going to be about uh, what, his ability to act in a mask and outside of it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to challenge him. Plus, we got Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman. You got my man uh, Jeffrey Wright playing uh, Jim Gordon. Well, Jim Gordon, sorry, yeah. Jim Gordon, you got uh, Colin Farrell playing the Penguin. Rumors of other villains, but I think it's Riddler, but Will has a theory about who the actual villain could be. Yeah, uh, so like when I started seeing it, if you've watched the trailer, like when you're hearing it, uh, you start hearing like the sounds of tape and stuff like, and stuff like that. And so when I initially saw him, um, the guy that I had first thought of was Hush. So uh, for those that don't know who Hush is, Hush is a person who like, you don't know who is who he is really. And he's got like a lot of surgery done to his face. And like eventually he takes- like a mummy, right? Yeah, but he eventually takes on the face of Bruce Wayne and becomes Bruce Wayne at one point. <clears throat> bless me. Uh, bless you. And so um, when I saw it initially with the tape wrapped around and it's like, no more lies, I thought that's who it was. But now, as you said, with the with the envelopes being given and to Batman and stuff like that, it seems like I'm still gonna go with a 50-50 type of deal because both of them still are giving that same type because both of them know who he is already. And right. so they've kind of like helped string along whatever it is they're doing. So we're gonna see. It seems but, uh, like Riddler. It definitely seems like Riddler with all the little clues and you know all the little like messages. And then of course they put the question marks and stuff at the end. Like uh, I think Hush would be refreshing because we don't really get to see him like that. But yeah. Riddler seems like a safer choice because you know obviously he's been in movies. People know who he is, and uh, he's all he's he's never really been a great Batman villain to me. He's never really been top tier just because it's like past all the questions and the riddles. I don't really you know. I, I don't really re remember a lot uh, that like he did to Batman that was dope, um, but I mean it. It seems like it, it seems like they're. Uh, I don't know. It seems like a movie. He set him up, bro. He uh, set him up. If you don't know the story of Hush, it's quite it's quite vicious. No, no, no I'm talking about Riddler. Oh, Riddler, Riddler, got you. Yeah. Riddler. I don't really remember anything that he did to Batman that was crazy or memorable. He's never really been like a top tier villain. To Comical me. guy. No, nah, yeah, nothing, nothing to go like life altering like the Joker has done or like anybody like that. Just like he said, he he's a great collective inside the rogue of villains. But um, yeah, I, we go see, man. I'm I'm digging, the, I'm digging the aesthetic. I'm digging yeah. the character so far. Like like I said, I love the brutality of it. Um, already I'm putting this over Christian Bale. And I don't care what nobody say. Fight me, whatever. I will put the back signal up. Have Pat Patterson come over here, Keep Robert. Yeah. Pattinson, Isn't show that Pat man. Pattinson, an old wrestler or wrestling yeah. manager? He's an yeah. old wrestler. Bro. Yeah, whatever, that's probably his son. I don't know. Who, who, look, anyway, he go. You go. You can catch Batman fighting for the WWE Championship against John Cena in the Suicide Squad or SummerSlam <laughs> next week. That's whatever it is. But nonetheless, though, I am excited for everything that they've shown so far. But Cleo had also uh, let me know that this is just week 
one of DC's fandom. If you can give us just a little bit more detail on that, Cleo. What I saw was that th this was only week one and they're in two weeks, they're coming back with more, but this is gonna be in September. Let me give you, give you guys an update on that one second. Yeah, DC fandom is now a two-part event. Okay. On September 12th, oh, sorry about that. It is going to be, yeah, Explore the Multiverse on Saturday. Yeah, DC Phantom, Explore the Multiverse. So DC Phantom Hall of Heroes on Saturday, August 22nd. DC Phantom, Explore the Multiverse on Saturday, September 12th. So they are coming back with more. Okay, so, uh, and, and, that, and that's good because what I hadn't noticed was um, that they didn't do the DC television series or the DC uh, Universe app. So that includes like, Titans, uh, Doom Patrol. They did show The Flash uh, season seven returning in 2021, but nothing uh, as far as like the CW shows, if any new shows are coming out or anything like that. So that may be something that they may be pressing on in the next week or so. Uh, so we just have to see, um, do you know which place for us to check out DC fandom? If they people want to be able to check this out and watch it. Absolutely, dcfandom.com. Com. That's where you can go and check it out. Uh, both of these events were pretty long, man. They started around 10 a.m., uh, but this one for your own schedule, it's going to be for 24 hours. The next one on September 12th, um, I had the opportunity of being a part of the Blurred and Bougie and Dream and Black campaign to highlight all the upcoming uh, Black superheroes which are making their return with Milestone Comics. DC has relaunched that entire section of stories. So Icon... Uh, Rocket, uh, of course, Static Shock is returning, so I'm really excited to see where they take everything. I believe it was leaked that it was a, it was originally a Static Shock movie was going to be in development, but now I think it's shifted more into a uh, series, a digital only series. So uh, it's going somewhere. Stop playing, Cleo, and finish off that state. No, no, no we good. I'm I no because this is where we gonna need. This is where we gonna need the internet. I'm sorry, I'm calling it. This is where we need the internet. If this don't happen, I ain't watching it because now it's in my head and I got to see it. Cleo. Nope. Say it. No, if sir. you don't say it, I won't. I'm going to say it. I would love a shot at bringing Static Shock's villain, Ebon, to life. I would love a shot at it. I don't want to guarantee. You don't have to guarantee me. I just want an opportunity to be able to walk in the room if... Ebon's character is supposed to make it to live action. We don't know what story they're telling with Static Shock yet. We don't know if they're going to do the whole Bang Baby situation again where everybody in the block ends up with the powers. Uh, but I would love the opportunity to bring Ebon to life. Come on, man. That's Cleo. That's Absolutely. your outfit in uh, uh, UALA. <laughs> UALA without the hood. That's it. <laughs> That's his head shape minus the braids. That's yeah. it. Like you braid your hair and I'm just back. keep in a shadow. That's you. Yeah, man. So hey, we'll let me let me let me let me be static shock then. I'll shave my face and cut my dreads. I'll fight you. Run it, Pat. Do <laughs> it. <laughs> Do it, Pat. Do it, man. Open too. it up. Open the floodgates to the people, man. This is one of those things where when it takes off, bro, it's gonna hit so hard. And I'm just very curious on how they how they can roll this out so right. Because it's it's been longing for so long. We wanted this. We wanted right. static shock to return in some type of media. We've been wanting it. So for them to announce that, yo, you are getting a series, it is in development, we don't know what story they're gonna tell. They could have a young Static Shock, the kid could be like 13, or they could have an older Static Shock, he could be 18, senior in high school, supposed to go off to college, boom, the bang baby situation happens. Now he's like, yo, do I stay here and protect my city and protect home, or do I go and do what my, my dad has set up for me to go to college? So they could run a whole, go ahead. There's two ways this could go. There's two ways that, I could, that this could go. You can either do it from the DC app, where it's kind of in the realm of Titan, not saying in the, the aesthetic of Titans, but you have a little bit more leniency to be able to do things and be a little bit more graphic, a little bit more detail, or you can go CW route and then, um, you know, not to knock it down, but you know, it's a little bit cheesier than it is when you watch Titans. But if you go CW, his storyline low key has been set up already. If you've watched okay. Black Lightning, the uh green what what I forget what they call it, but they're they're the same thing that they're doing. Green light is pretty much kind of like the bang babies. Ah so he could already be tied in there as well because they mentioned these kids that's been operated on. 
but they nah. don't say all of them. So for some reason, maybe Virgil could be one of them that escaped. And again, too, he could be the kid or he could be 18 because they've been doing it for over 30 years. Are they tied together, Black Lightning and Static Shock? All of them, all of them are into, into one aesthetic. So it's like so all they're of them. in a universe though? The same universe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you look, well, uh, and, that, and then that's the thing too, though, that they've kind of changed because on the CW show, They've done Crisis on Infinite Earths, and the way they've done it, all the universes have been destroyed. So there's only one universe now. Yep, so everybody there. Yes, yeah, so the ones that survive, they're all in that same universe. So it, there's a lot of ways that they can either tie it into what they're doing now or just start fresh. Um, but either way, I would like to see that. And I would still like to see Cleo as Ebon. And now I want to see Patrick. Hey, man, you can just put it out there. It I can't unsee it. I gotta we'll see what happens, brother. But nonetheless, DC is is has come come a long way. DC and Warner Brothers have come a long way. I love how they're choosing to tell the stories of all their different um, characters in the, in their roster. There was a mention that a brand new Batman comic is coming, but this time it's not going to be Bruce underneath the cow. So I can only guess who is going to take over that mantle now. Really excited to know though. Man, Commissioner Gordon. Stop. He done it before, so he has, he has, he has. But I don't know, man. We'll see, man. But we got. The, I'm sure they're gonna give us a whole bunch. So uh, I look forward to that. I look forward to seeing DC really catch up while Marvel is kind of sleeping right now before they start doing their major rollouts again. So hopefully DC will get their phase one complete. Uh, but this has been a great episode of Straight Out of a Comic Book. I want to thank my guest, Patrick Cloud, Cleo Thomas. We three are the Arcade Tokens. Thank y'all for checking out the series. Glad y'all are enjoying it and it coming back. Make sure you check out Patrick Cloud, Cleo Thomas' personal Twitches, twitch.tv slash Patrick Cloud, uh, excuse me, slash Cleo Thomas. Check out their socials, which you'll see below. And catch this every week on Tuesdays on my YouTube channel and my Twitch. Um, um, shout out to Slick Living Batman. We have been RK Tokens. I'm the anomaly Will Farrow. Phil Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Living. Patrick Cloud. And we will catch you next time as the Batman. <laughs>